Hello there, welcome to the second tutorial video in um, this series. Um, and I think what we're going to do today is uh, if we set up the the libraries and um, and code blocks uh, with what libraries you'd need to actually be able to compile uh, a Pendium project. So, okay, this is the, the Unity interface here and if we click applications and you want synaptic so s y n and that's already installed so we run that there uh, if you remember from the previous tutorial the password is pengin hit ok ok close that there so here you go this is the the package manager um, and here you can install libraries programs what what have you so we're wanting code blocks so a quick search code blocks boom there you go so you want to install that if you just click it mark for installation it's telling you that it needs to install those libraries as well so click mark um, I suggest you install the contrib plugins as well because um, there's some some nifty things there. So uh, I, I suggest you do that. It's up to yourself, but there we go. Um, okay, so that's code blocks. Uh, we also need some SDL libraries. So if you click search again, if you type in SDL search. Okay, we want to narrow that down a bit more, so try lib SDL. Okay, and now you can see lib SDL console. We want the development libraries, so all the development libraries are actually suffixed with DEV, dev. So, um, Pengin uses SDL graphics, so that's that one there. Mark that one for installation. Again, it will mark some other libraries, just mark those as well. Uh, SDL image, so again, we mark that one for installation. Uh, SDL mixer. Okay. Anything else? SDL TTF, which is a fonts library, so there we go. As you can see, it depends on free type. Um, Okay, and I think I think that should be it. Uh, so if you click apply, Ubuntu will do its thing. As you can see, it gives you a summary: 99 megs extra space will be used. 28 megs have to be downloaded. So hit apply, and there you go. It's downloading, downloading the libraries. And um, there you go, quite quickly. This is one thing Linux does right, I think. Um, you know, you can keep track of various applications so they automatically update. Uh, in Windows, you have to go chasing after them or install a third party application that monitors different download locations I don't know um, in Ubuntu you just use the package manager and it just works so um, we're almost ready to go see it's installing there if you want you can view the installation details quite possibly lots of techno mumbo jumbo uh, that you probably don't want to see so you can hide it again if you want whatever new thing in this version of Ubuntu is um, the the um, title bar buttons are moved over to the left hand side uh, you can change this over if you don't like it but for 
the purpose of this video I'm not going to cover tweaking the OS it's just basically I'll show you how to uh, you know do task related to to developing Pengin stuff that's that's basically the goal of these tutorials so yeah changes applied we close that box there and I think we can just get out of the package manager just now and right so now we should have code blocks so if we go to applications again and code blocks code blocks ID if you can hit that there version 10.05 okay so set that as default the GNU GCC compiler okay tip of the day you can disable that or you can read through them if you want scripting console not something I personally need um, I suggest you reorder these bars here um, here's your debugging toolbar here's your general build toolbar toolbar um, these ones here I don't personally use so uh, view toolbars let's have a look code completion no view toolbars incremental search no and there you go you've got a bit more room there um, so that's that uh, one of the things we're going to have to do is if we go to settings, compiler and debugger. Okay, we've got the GNU GCC compiler. Um, as we're working within a, a Linux based OS, I suggest you copy that and rename that Linux. This is just um, so it keeps all compiler settings specific per per platform and it just makes things a little bit easier with regards to um, if you're working on a project in Linux um, then you send it to somebody that's working on it with Windows they can actually you know just uh, carry on working on it and their settings while working on it in Windows will not conflict with the settings working on it in Linux so there you go that sets up the basic compiler there um, right oh so there you go you've got um, a basic code blocks environment um, if you want to test this out quickly you can just open sorry just create a new project um, various projects you can do uh, just for the sake of looking at something nice let's uh, I don't know just create a standard uh, add an SDL project go okay next test folder to create the project in why don't we just put that in documents programming and other seeing as we're just creating an, a, a test a testing project so next which one do we want to use we're using the Linux VM so I suggest again that you use the Linux compiler which is exactly the same as GNU GCC it's already set up because you've cloned it so it just makes things a little bit easier so it's like that click finish here we go and code blocks has set up a example example source with raw SDL commands uh, I know I said we were doing Pengin tutorials but just to test that your compiler is working this is a, a quick way to do so so we will try and build and run which is this button here uh, the the debug target of this project so hit that as you can see it shows you the compile status there and there you go you've got your your console window which you can display any messages with your 
with your C or C++ code and this SDL program is just a simple program to display the code blocks image so there you go that's that's it for tutorial 2 um, the next tutorial probably go a bit more in depth uh, of actually setting up your first Pengin project uh, downloading the latest Pengin source code um, you know really getting into the nitty-gritty of these things but uh, I don't know I want to take this one step at a time and um, get clear points across um, and there you are that's that's your IDE setup thank you for watching again um, take care and see you next time